Hi YouTubers, Mark from Oven Dog Brewery here. We're in the brew shed. Now one of the things which uh, developed as I built the brewery was this extractor fan. And I got it cheap off eBay and it did a good job. But recently I found it, it seems to drip a lot. Now I've managed to avoid the beer, as it's dripping in the beer. But last brew day it dripped on my laptop, which wasn't great. So I need to have a look at it. Now it, it's a standard kitchen extractor. When I fitted it, I wanted to fit it flush against the wall, but I couldn't do that because the pipe going outside is in the way, so I had to move it off the wall by a couple of inches. It was a bit of a botch up, but it's loose. I don't want it to be loose. I also want to try and improve how it drains or how it extracts and doesn't drip. Now the bit in the middle, the main part, is under here. I'll pull it apart in a bit. That is, um, it's just a basic fan, like a rotary fan. And one side should have had a cover on, which it didn't. So I, I made one on a previous video and fitted it, but it still has a lot of water in there. And I need to get to some better way of using it. That's bad English, I know, but I, I need to improve the extraction and either getting rid of the hood or ripping out the extractor and using a different one. These are all options. So. Let's get it off the wall and have a look. That was the original hole. And I've clearly made a little liner for it. Sorry if the light's bad. Um. Yeah, you can see the fix at the top and then a bit of a spacer underneath which looks like I might have glued it on. Um, this pipe didn't appear to be actually in the hole so when it's been extracting it's not been going out very well. Hmm, right, let's turn it over and take a better look. I apologise for the light, uh, unfortunately the extractor fan was the light. Um, I've got a light rope I can try and move around but it's I've nowhere to hold it on. Whoa, I'll wash the camera out. Yeah, so, anyway, um, this was designed to have like a, a, a tunnel up the top. So the extractor fan blows up through the top here. Now, because this is a um, shed with a apex roof it didn't actually work it was a flat roof i could have probably got away with it and, and built it but the uh the other bit is i could fit this to the roof of the shed but then how do you seal it you'd need some kind of chimney and i looked at these and they are expensive i haven't got a welder uh or some bending material i could buy a tube i guess and then just try and make one but i just buy a welder and i'd only use it once a blue moon so let's not go down that line so we've got we've got the elephant trunk uh, it was hot snot glued onto here the bit of wood just to fill the hole the rectangular hole under here uh, so that's what we've got and that's what we're going to play with now this goes out the top so out the top and the hole goes out the back so somehow we needed to go out a 90 and at not a stupid um, angle or um, some reason to make the extractor a lot lower because it's already at I think a good height so we're a bit knackered so I've got a choice here I can either dump this just what a clean god uh, I can either dump this and go for well look at, look at the this is it you know I put a little cover there originally to stop some of the steam escaping it doesn't work it still escapes if it was much lower you'd be banging your hands and your head on it so that's not an option um a bit of a loss really how to fix this i don't want to put it back up because it drips let's show you the inside of it right i'm struggling here for uh for space so hopefully you can see this so this is like the cylindrical extractor 
It's got a, a fan that just whizzes around like that. So I don't know what they call them, but yeah, it spins around and is meant to uh, uh, drag air in at the side. So it's not only the side, actually the motor's on the other side. Meant to drag air in and then it spits it. Um, it must go that way and spits it out up the pipe. But water drips out of here when it's uh, boiling. Uh, there is a cover that you can put on, but all that does it drips on the cover and then from the cover it onto the beer. Find the button. Nope, it's a light. Here we go. So, the tube comes out the back and this is the elephant's trunk job. So, you can, you can see it's already blowing. You see the bar towel. And it is actually quite compressed and I can feel it but clearly when you undo it it gets better it is really blowing um, what I think might have happened is when it's been behind there it's really hard to, to fit that that's been compressed like that sort of squished so there's not there is some I know the flap opens on the outside turn it off oh, oh that's full belt Oh yeah. Right. This is how the fan fits on the ceiling. Um, there's just basically one metal bracket and it just it just sits on top. Now you can see that's where the original extractor fan was and it slotted into that hole. Now I couldn't use the existing fan because it was a fan which went in the hole so I couldn't use a tube so that is actually uh, two oh it's a bottle doubled up from some uh, fizzy pop so uh, coke or something uh, so that just happened to be the same size as the elephant's trunk outlet this piece of wood I glued on it's hot snotted on there's no screw holes for looking for them but that is well and truly stuck so that'll be fun to get off a hammer might do it job that's the isolator for the fan for the cable here um, it's off at the moment clearly so what's the option I'd like to fit the fan flush against the wall okay you can see the fan sat there and just hit that and that's why it's wobbly so I'd like to get rid of that get the top bracket flush against the back wall so then I need to sort out the extractor the extractor hole so it might be I'll try and lower it down below that or maybe I could drill another hole and higher up that might work and then I don't have to lower it down as far but then if I lower it too far I've got the issue where I need to move the fuse switched spur As you can see YouTubers, there is room to go higher with that extractor. Time to remove this. It's a bit out of your father, isn't it? Well, good and ein hell, whatever it's called. Good old multi tools done the job. Got a hole in the wall. Yeah, this is one of the best tools I've ever bought. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So what I've done. So I've got the hole right. This is for a, a drying box. So that'll go in there. Make sure it's the right size. Well, that should fit in there, and then. I'm going to put a socket on. So what I'm going to do is the old bit of wood when I've taken this switch fuse spur because that's what the issue is, that's in the way I can then use this piece of wood to uh, jam in the hole and uh, block it up uh, glue it hopefully, pop it on the back, it'll be fine Well I've managed to get back in here I spent a bit of time yesterday so what I've done today sorted out the socket, dragged the wire back put a socket on, I'll use that for 
the all-in-one, my brew monk, um, the wires come across, that's where it used to be. I've got uh, the, the bit I cut out from over there, I'm going to use for here, I'm going to stick it in there. Um, over there is now the fuse switch spur, which will be the fan feed. So a new piece of wire going across, blah blah blah, join it with the old one. New cable from there, coming up to here. It's not energised at the moment. And I've had fun for most of today, getting moving the fan from there to there so I've done the inside, the outside, the nightmare on the outside, I've had to replace some wood uh, but it's all done, uh, obviously that's too long so my next job, uh, it's Sunday today so it might be the weekend but uh, put all the cell text back up uh, and seal, I've ripped it here but got to seal it back up, I might do something else with the ceiling actually, I might leave the cell text in and do something else. Uh, obviously cut that down, the vents on the outside, and then after all this, I'll clean this down, this vent, up uh, to extract a hood, get it stuck on the wall, but at least now it'll be able to fit flush against the wall. I uh, can't where I left off yesterday, but yeah, I, I mentioned I think uh, that that had been filled in and looks pretty good. The hole there, that round hole, that's going pretty well. I've screwed two small blocks, one there, one there. Ooh, it's uh, two by two. I keep forgetting the camera's on this side. Uh, it's two by two, uh, screwed on and glued on with Gorilla Glue, which I've just taken away so I can't show you, but it's Gorilla Glue. Get it from everywhere. Uh, it just fixed up really well. Um, I fixed the top bit here. I had loads of foam, uh, that one inch uh, foam. It's meant to be a garage door seal, but I've never used it. And it, the sticky got a bit knackered, but I glued it on anyway. And then finally today, I've just put that bracket on there. So um, I've got my pipe, which I've cut down. Uh, so this, oh, and I've cut the elephant's trunk down a bit, so this will go into there, and then it'll go in the hole, and then I can lift it up. There's plenty of wire on, on here, that's going to go on there, that uh, twin earth, and to screw it all on, on the floor, it is an absolute monster cable tie. So I'm going to put this round the elephant's trunk to fix it on. Right, I guess I better do that now. Well, it's on. It's on the wall. It doesn't look straight. It looks completely pissed. But my spirit level says that that is level. So the question is, I think the lead, the, the lead? I think the shed actually leans. So what's that say? Uh, yeah, it says it leans, look. That's on the, the roof beam, so that actually says it leans. Right, so, uh, what have we done? We've uh, we fixed it on the wall, basically. So I've tied up the bench a bit. Not much you can see, it needs lots more. Uh, I'm just gonna sort this out now. Um, let's get this on. Uh, I'll chop down that. I'll tell you what I should show you. And this has really worked out well. Hopefully the light will be good. Look at that. Comes out quite well. I didn't put the cable tie on in the end. You know, I could just bunch that up a little bit more. Bunch that up a little bit more like that. But that is really tight, that bit. And I'm happy with it. One thing I've noticed on this, I don't know if it should have an extra bracket. I think Frank could up in Scotland or wherever it is, he's got one of these and I think there should be some other bracket here because uh, you know it's only, only being held on with gravity if you knock it it'll move so I might just put a couple of screws here right just just to push it in there uh, that block of wood's there and at the one at the same side so put a couple of screws in here it'll just uh, oh it will actually just hold it on right first thing first tonight Get it wired up. Oh, whilst I'm at it, that, uh, yeah, that's that foam we used to seal it with. It's about one inch thick by what? All right, let's say 25 mil, 
by four mil, three mil, three mil probably. So before I plug it all in, I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to check that the earth is correct. So what I've done, I've actually just rammed it in me. My quick uh, thing, quick connect thing. And uh, I could I tried this before a minute ago, but right. So I put it in there. That is the earth. And I've just whacked it in belly, but that's the earth, right? So I know that that earth is all the way over here to this, look, you know, to that. So, now I would have thought that a cooker hood being metal, if ever there was a fault, it would be isolated, it would be earth. Ready? No. 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 It's not like it's lacquered or anything. So, the only bit the earth is for is the, uh, it's the motor up there. So... How bizarre, I thought this would actually have been earthed, but it's not. Right, okay, let's get rid of this meter, we don't need that no more. Do you know what, I'm just going to power it on, so the fuse is out, right, the fuse is in, and we're on. And it works. Yes, it's working. Well, I know it doesn't look straight, but that's how it's going to live because it is level. But that is the new extractor fan. I'll try and get you on the other camera. This is the phone. That's looking quite uh, quite good and dandy. It's now uh, flush to the wall. Looks good. Um, I can feel the... Uh, I can actually feel it sucking from it, which is amazing. Um, oh, a slight draft up there, but that's nothing compared to what it was. So that's it, YouTube. I've got this tidying up, but I'm not going to bother tonight. That's it. So another vlog project done, completed, and I'm a lot happier. It's a lot more stable, and hopefully it will no longer drip the extractor will be better so what I need to do now is have a brew day right okay so I'm gonna wrap this up here so this is Mark hold on oh. it's a bit better isn't it eh right so this is Mark from Harvard Up Brewery signing off and as always stay thirsty oh the cameras are there bye <laughs>